The year is 2025, and the iron ore industry stands at a crossroads, a pivotal juncture where the forces of market dynamics, technological innovation, and sustainability collide. The landscape is shifting beneath our feet, marked by a downward trajectory in iron ore prices that analysts predict will continue into the next year. Goldman Sachs warns that prices could dip below $80 per ton by 2026, while Fitch Solutions estimates an average of $100 per ton for 2025. These figures tell a story of a market grappling with weak demand, particularly from China, where the once booming property sector, which historically accounted for around 40% of the country's steel demand, is now in a state of stagnation. Despite government stimulus efforts aimed at revitalizing the real estate market, a sustained recovery remains uncertain, casting a long shadow over global demand for iron ore. As we look at global production and supply dynamics, Major iron ore producers like Vale and Rio Tinto continue to operate at robust output levels. Vale has adjusted its 2024 production forecast to between 323 and 330 million tons, while Rio Tinto anticipates supplies within a similar range. This sustained production, juxtaposed against weakening demand, exerts downward pressure on prices creating a challenging environment for stakeholders across the industry. For Australia, the leading iron ore exporter, the implications of this landscape are significant. The Australian government has projected a staggering $100 billion reduction in mining export earnings over the next four years, a reflection of increased competition from emerging regions like Africa and Brazil. This decline in revenues could ripple through the national economy impacting broader economic stability and the livelihoods of those who depend on the iron ore sector. In the face of these economic challenges, the industry is also grappling with the urgent need for sustainability. The global shift toward decarbonization has galvanized industry leaders, with companies like BHP in Rio Tinto investing in sustainable technologies. In Western Australia, they are constructing a pilot plant designed to produce low-carbon iron using renewable energy and direct reduced iron, DRI, technology. This facility aims to produce between 30,000 and 40,000 tons of molten iron annually, potentially achieving near-zero greenhouse gas emissions for steelmakers, reliant on Australian iron ore. Such initiatives represent a critical step toward aligning the industry with global sustainability goals, Yet they also highlight the tension between immediate market pressures and long-term environmental imperatives. As competition intensifies, particularly from Brazil and Africa, Australia's dominance in the iron ore market is under threat. The Simandu project in Guinea, a massive reserve, has the potential to disrupt global trade flows, prompting Fortescue Metals' CEO to warn that Australia's top position in the global supply chain is at risk if logistical and regulatory hurdles are not addressed. Rising production costs and stringent environmental regulations are further complicating the landscape, making Australian iron ore less competitive compared to emerging markets. The industry's ability to navigate these challenges will be paramount to its long-term viability. Technological advancements are also reshaping the iron ore mining sector. Automation and artificial intelligence, AI, are driving efficiency and cost reduction, with companies like Rio Tinto expanding their fleets of autonomous trucks and trains. BHP is leveraging AI to optimize ore blending and predict maintenance needs, reducing downtime and enhancing productivity. Furthermore, innovative solutions for mining waste are gaining traction, as technologies that extract residual minerals from tailings not only mitigate environmental impact, but also present new revenue streams. Amid the backdrop of these developments, iron ore's role in the global energy transition cannot be understated. The rising demand for green steel, produced with reduced carbon emissions, is encouraging miners to adopt sustainable production methods. Hydrogen-based reduction processes, where hydrogen replaces carbon in steelmaking, are gaining prominence with Sweden's success in this area serving as a model for major producers to invest in similar technologies. The transition to greener methods is not merely a trend. 
It is an imperative that the industry must embrace to remain relevant in a rapidly evolving market. However, the iron ore industry also faces complex regulatory and geopolitical challenges. Export restrictions, environmental policies, and evolving trade agreements could disrupt supply chains and affect pricing. China's efforts to diversify its iron ore sources, reducing dependency on Australia and Brazil, may lead to increased investments in African mines. The geopolitical tensions between China and the West, compounded by sanctions and trade tariffs, add another layer of complexity that stakeholders must navigate to ensure stability and growth. As we look ahead, the iron ore industry must strike a balance between economic realities and the pressing need for environmental sustainability. The convergence of market pressures, technological advancements, and regulatory considerations will shape the future of the industry. Investors, policymakers, and industry leaders must remain agile, adapting to rapid changes in demand, supply, and technology. With global steel production increasingly transitioning toward greener methods, the role of iron ore in shaping construction, infrastructure, and beyond is evolving. Iron ore is not just a commodity. It is the backbone of global industrialization. Its significance spans across various sectors, from construction to automotive manufacturing and energy. Yet, the outlook for 2025 reveals a landscape shaped by macroeconomic forces, climate policies, and technological advancements. The International Monetary Fund, IMF, projects a modest rebound in global growth for 2025, driven by recovery in emerging markets and investments in green infrastructure. This presents both challenges and opportunities for the iron ore market. While demand for steel remains resilient in regions like India and Southeast Asia, producers must adapt to these evolving dynamics to stay relevant and profitable. The ongoing real estate crisis in China has sent shockwaves through the fee global iron ore market. Defaults by major developers such as Evergrande and Country Garden have dampened market activity and government measures, including interest rate cuts and infrastructure investments, have yet to yield substantial recovery. The structural slowdown in China's property market could lead to a permanent shift in global demand, compelling producers to diversify their customer base and target rapidly industrializing regions like India and Africa. India is emerging as a potential growth frontier in the iron ore market. With ambitious infrastructure projects and a burgeoning automotive sector, India is positioning itself as a key player. The National Infrastructure Pipeline, which outlines a planned investment of over $1.4 trillion through 2025, offers lucrative opportunities for iron ore producers. Simultaneously, India is expanding its domestic mining capabilities. Policy reforms aimed at attracting foreign direct investment, FDI, and encouraging private sector participation in mining could transform India into a significant iron ore exporter, altering global trade dynamics in the process. Technological disruption continues to reshape mining operations. Automation and AI technologies are not just enhancing productivity, they are redefining how the industry operates. Rio Tinto's autonomous haulage systems and AI-driven exploration tools exemplify this trend. While digital twins, virtual replicas of physical assets, are optimizing supply chain management and enabling proactive responses to disruptions. However, the adoption of these advancements requires substantial investment, which could widen the gap between major players and smaller producers, creating a landscape of unequal opportunity. Environmental sustainability has become an unavoidable priority for the iron ore industry. The global push for decarbonization is placing immense pressure on companies to adopt sustainable practices. Initiatives such as hydrogen-based steelmaking and the recycling of scrap steel are gaining momentum, promising significant environmental benefits. Yet, scaling these efforts requires considerable infrastructure and investment, posing a challenge for many players in the industry. Major companies are committing to green technologies, with projects like Hybrid in Sweden and pilot programs by Vale, Rio Tinto, and BHP 
aiming to align with 2050 net zero emissions targets. The circular economy, focused on recycling and reusing materials, is emerging as a viable strategy. Though challenges remain in scaling these practices globally, the geopolitical landscape is also reshaping the iron ore industry in profound ways. Trade tensions, evolving supply chains, and China's Belt and Road Initiative, which invests heavily in African and Central Asian mining projects, could disrupt traditional market dynamics. Sanctions, tariffs, and export restrictions may lead to supply chain disruptions and price volatility, as seen in the Simondu project in Guinea, which exemplifies how geopolitical factors influence market decisions and competition. Logistical challenges in transporting iron ore from mines to markets remain significant. High transportation costs and disruptions arising from geopolitical conflicts underscore vulnerabilities in the supply chain. Producers are exploring green fuel-powered maritime shipping and electrified rail systems to enhance resilience and reduce emissions.